Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Just over a month ago, I did a video called Who Cares When You Get What You Want? And that was referring to the drastic changes which have been made to several characters within the comic industry. And this is a trend which doesn't seem to be stopping. I'll go into it uh, more in a moment. And the disingenuous nature of the people who are demanding the changes they cry and they wail and they stomp their feet we want this we want this and then it happens and then when people go hey why have you done this to, to this character why have you done that to that character they turn around and they go who cares who cares if such and such is such and such now who cares once of course they've got what they wanted there has been an alarming trend in comics recently, and I don't think it's even for a sales pop. I think it is for pandering benefits because even the people, the dumbasses, who are still at the mainstream comic companies understand that the superficial changes that they're making to characters is only a going to be a minuscule blip, and then it's going to fade into mediocrity, uh, and fade into the ether because Normie's going to be like, who cares as well? Hey, let's go into some specifics. We turned Tim Drake gay. Oh, who, who cares? Uh, we turned Batgirl, Batwoman, from a, a, a white lesbian now to a black lesbian because that's even more representative. Uh, okay, we're turning Superman gay. Okay. Uh, Wolverine, Cyclops, they now love a bit of D. Can't get enough of it just to satisfy Jean Grey. Um, okay. Uh, Iron Man, well, no, no, no. We're going to have Riri Williams, Hawkeye, Clint Barton. No, 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 no. It's going to be Kate Bishop. It goes on and on and on and on and on. And these are unpopular characters for the most part. Not your Wolverines and your Cyclopses, obviously, and your Robins. But your Batwomans, they're not particularly popular. Kate Bishop failed. Failed in the books. Riri Williams, complete failure in her books. Usurping all the history that's come before it. And all, of course, done in the name of additional representation when let's just call it as it is identity politics is cancerous absolutely cancerous you take beloved characters with decades upon decades of history where people have connected with the characters grown up with the characters who relate to these characters and then you twist them and you turn them purely to say, oh, we need more representation. Representation is a good thing. There's only one further problem. This is a one-way street. We're seeing heterosexual characters, Tim Drake, Cyclops, Wolverine, uh, Star-Lord, Peter Quill, been suddenly turned into bisexual or gay characters and of course bisexual in comics just means gay you know they're not going to be dating no women anymore that's the excuse is oh they dated women before now they're, now they're doing this you don't see gay characters been turned heterosexual you see characters been turned from white to black you don't see characters been turned from black to white so there is a very one specific one-way street when it comes to these changes which are meant to introduce more inclusion and diversity and the excuse is, is because there's an overabundance of straight white characters maybe there's an overabundance of a straight white audience or a straight audience in general or a male audience in general comparative to the female audience, which is absolutely true. And then when, of course, you filter in, 5% of people are 
inclusive and diverse, and that's probably being a little bit generous. You kind of have your proportionate numbers. But now we have complete and utterly ridiculous proportionate numbers. But what's more important is when the flip when the coin is flipped then that's when they go crazy that's when the true colors come out you've probably seen this image it's been around uh for a couple of years now but due to the recent what if releasing on disney plus it got itself a lick of paint and what we see here is a why well, probably even steve Rod, possibly even steve rogers but we just let's just for argument's sake say a uh a, a white blonde blue-eyed male character as black panther and this reaction here from this overgrown sissy whoever made this needs to be and needs to get arrested um for what crime i'd like to know but it's interesting to see the responses because obviously the people like myself who voice uh, that the industry is too lazy and too uncreative to create new characters, new gay characters, new black characters, or even build on the existing gay and black characters in comics because, and I love to quote Young Ripper on this one, they only see legitimacy in the straight white male characters and that's i believe absolutely true so those people like myself we chuckle at stuff like this because this is this is flipping it back on itself and you'll get you know gary it's an absolute triumph and you'll get people posting images of usurped characters this one specifically is the redheads that have been um wiped out in film and tv and comics and replaced by a uh, different colored head or even different colored people in general uh a great one here from tropic thunder i'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude uh we see jimmy olsen has been race changed on multiple okay, this cartoon he's been race changed on the supergirl cartoon he was race changed multiple characters have been race changed blood sport uh, was race changed in Suicide Squad. Dubois was actually white when they were created by John Byrne. Uh, Deadshot, it, uh, white, but they were played by Will Smith. A couple of characters there that were usurped. Uh, He-Man, uh, He-Man's ancestor, black, so He-Man, white, uh, because they needed representation. This beauty here, of course, this is real-life history. Anne Boleyn. Uh, one of Henry VIII's wives and Channel 4, of course, in recent times, deciding to portray her as a black woman, going against the historical accuracy of it and therefore diminishing, well, not diminishing, but destroying any historical fact because now this becomes fiction. To virtue signal. And this failed miserably in the ratings because people laugh themselves out of the tv channel we then have the original white panther uh again we have heimdall idris elba a redhead white redhead in the comics uh karen's being uh, fired uh <laughs> um then we get the people who are you what what the shit what whoa whoa, whoa whoa why why are you complaining why are you complaining because a white character took over has been portrayed as a black character in this image what about all the flip reverse do you uh, do, do you complain when that happens i hope so i hope you remain consistent in your outrage sir uh storm what if storm was white somebody's mocked up storm as a white redhead uh, considering most white redheads at the moment seem to be usurped by uh, black female characters. Um, what the fuck is this shit? Again, more, more outrage, more outrage, more outrage, more outrage. Why are you outraged? Why are you outraged? This is hypocrisy. I, 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 I'm, I'm hoping, I mean, I obviously know the answer is no, 
But I'm hoping that all of you are as outraged when characters, established characters, have been changed. No, of course you don't. You celebrate it. You celebrate it openly as a victory, as a no no, because you don't care about the characters. You just got you just care that a character got turned to your team and the tribalism aspect of that. You don't give a shit about the history of them. You don't give a shit about the character itself, what they've gone through, what they mean to other people. It's your team's got them now. That's how base it is. Again, more outrage. It's all fair. Of course, it's either all fair or none of it's fair. You can either play with everything and anything or nothing at all. But you want to play it as a one-way street. As a we can only take white characters and change them into diverse and inclusive characters because you only see legitimacy in those cis male white characters or even cis male uh, cis female white characters too lazy to create too lazy to take some existing characters and develop you just want a legitimacy by stealing another character and it goes on and on and on and it's hilarious absolutely hilarious the hypocrisy of this just drips just absolutely drips and the thing is this is just a joke this this is just a, a joke that somebody made and look at the outrage the outrage by people how dare they change a black character to a white guy how do you think everyone else feels who's been collecting comics for decades and decades and seen their characters been taken and twisted and changed and perverted to appeal to you you know who you are people who don't even collect people who just want to see the tribalistic attitude of them being positioned at your side of the table it's pathetic hypocrisy thy name is you I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and YouTube for live streaming links. They're in the description box down below. I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.